Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And before we get started, if you guys could like and subscribe, that would be very great. So, today we're going to be doing buffalo plaid on this wood panel here. And we might be painting one or two or the table of our mini dining room set. I did show all of this at my big old haul that I got in my last YouTube video. So, if you guys are following along at home, that is awesome. So make sure you have a canvas. I'm using just some wood here that I bought. You can use some cardboard, some watercolor paint. It doesn't really matter as long as you have something to paint on and you got some paint, or some paint and some paint brushes. So, you can decide if you want to have a wood color. So leave the wood texture. Of course, I'm using wood as an example, but whatever you have, if you want to keep it as that color, you can keep it as that color, but if you want a different color, then paint it white. So I'm going to quickly paint it white, let it dry, and then we can get to adding like the tape. So a great tip whenever you're painting, specifically white, but any any color, and whenever you're painting or coloring, is to always go in one direction. So when you're painting, you're going in one direction, you're not going this way, then that way, then this way. So I'm going to quickly fill up my water container here. It's my new one. Because the other one was just a little smaller. This is just a lot bigger. I'm going to take some paper towel here and I'm going to wash it off. And I think I'm not going to do two coats, I'm just going to do one. So now we're going to let it dry and then we can add the tape. So once it is dry, you're going to take green tape or painter's tape and you're going to do um, horizontal lines. So you're going to put a piece of tape then just place down a piece of tape lightly so then you have equal ways out. I'll show you guys in a second. So here's an example. I've already placed down my first strand. Remember, this will not peel up your um, paint, so it's fine. And then I'm going to lightly place this one down as if I was putting another layer there. And I'm going, it's kind of hard to do with one hand or two hands. Then you're going to go right underneath it and place your tape like that so you have equal lines throughout it all and then I'm going to quickly do that with the whole wood panel. And remember before adding your tape make sure you're white or even if you if you added a white make sure it's all dry first because I forgot to make sure that it was all dry. I started adding the tape and your tape won't stick. So make sure it is dry before you add the tape. While I'm waiting for mine to dry, I'm just going to tell you guys the type of plaid I'm using. I'm going to be using, a, like, I'm going to be doing a blue pa plaid. You can choose whatever colors you want. You can do green, you can do red, you can do pink, you can do purple. You can do whatever color you want. You can do orange, you can do yellow. It's any color you want. I'm doing blue, so I'm going to be using my island blue. It's my favorite blue because it's a beautiful light blue. And I'm going to be using a metallic one. And um, it's ice blue, and it has like it's shimmery. It's like if you look at the packaging there, it's kind of like shimmery versus uh, this one, which is like non-shimmery. So you can like see how there's like a shimmer in the packaging. Even even if this is light blue, I still got dark blue here. Is, this is brilliant blue, this is ice blue, they basically look the exact same, and one shimmery, one's not. You can do purples, pinks, it doesn't really matter, as long as you have a color that you've chosen, like you can't do, I bet you could do a green and pink or something, I haven't tried two colors yet, but I definitely will make it a coaster and see how it turns out, but if you are selected on one color, do it lighter or darker, but say I only had this dark blue I would put this dark blue and add white to it to make it lighter so I'm gonna quickly tape up my white board so I've painted it up or taped it up and there's a little bit of an edge here because I kind of wanted to see a little bit of that and it's not gonna be perfect the first time I should have measured it but that's okay so now we're going to take our lightest color which is our lightest blue and paint in here now, don't just paint on the tape because it might go through, but try to avoid it, avoid it, but that's why the tape's there. So you don't have to be as, per, like, be as, have a lot of precision, but you can still have a little bit to focus. So I'm going to quickly paint this up. So I've now painted in all my lines, 
and you can wait for it to dry because that's what I'm going to do because the painter's tape does not stick to wet paint. So we're going to let it dry, peel off the paint, and then put some paint on, or put some tape on the other way. You're going to do it the exact same way you did with this one. You put a layer, you put a piece of tape on, put a middle piece in, and then you put another piece below it. But this way it's going to be like this. You're gonna all this tape here that's on will be off. So you'll put your piece of tape on. You'll put the sectioner in. Then you'll put another piece. Then you'll have that little blue checkered. And then you'll do it again until you're down to your bottom one. And then we'll go from there. So this is what I've decided to do: is to peel off the tape right now as it's still a little bit wet, and let it dry that way without the tape being on there. And then peel that off. And then I'm going to wait for it to dry to apply the next lines. See how it looks so far. So I've added the first line, and then I'm going to put in the sectioner that, like we did last time. I know they're a little off, and it kind of bothers me, but that's okay. I should have measured before, but it's okay. I think it'll still look really cool. Then I'm going to put in the sectioner. Lightly, not all the way. And then put a piece of tape below it. Then you can peel this one away and smooth that one down. And then keep going until you're at the bottom. And once your tape is on, now you're going to go in with your darker color and paint that up. So as I've just finished in my blue lines here, so now I'm going to peel off my tape. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. That looks so awesome. Oh my god, that actually looks really good. We will be doing touch-ups. Once everything dries, we'll be doing touch-ups. So if some of your paint leaked like mine did a bit, then once it dries, do a touch-up. So I haven't done touch-ups yet because I just peeled it off. But as you can see here, there's a little bit of bumpiness. But I will be touching all that up. So I'm just going to wait till it dries to touch it up. So first, let's let it dry. So now I'm going to take a small brush. And you can see that little tiny mess up there. I'm going to fix that up. And just keep a steady hand. But I actually kind of fixed it. So I'm going to quickly do that where it's a little bit messy. And then I'll show you guys when it's actually finished. So just make sure to stay a steady hand. And there's no need to rush. Remember if I'm going a little bit too fast just to just pause the video. Okay so I'm now going to quickly do all my touch ups. So as I finished with all my touch-ups, I know like some of it's a little ragged, but it's the first try. I think it looks really good. Really like it. I wish it was more even, but it's not. It's a first try sort of deal. Um, this side's a little lopsided, this one right here, but that's okay. So as what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my initial, which is just a letter M. So I'm going to quickly do that up. First what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paint pen and I'm actually just going to make a bubble letter and then I'll fill it in. So I'm going to quickly do like a bubble letter. That's a little bit harder to see on camera, but you can actually kind of see the M a bit. So I'm going to quickly outline it so you guys can see it better. So I finished the outline. And I'm actually think I'm going to leave it just like this. I don't think I'm going to color it in. If I were to color it in though, I would definitely use a paintbrush and fill it in that way. I wouldn't use um, my paint pen. That's just a lot of paint. So, here you guys go. I hope you guys this turned out just as well as mine did. And I'm really happy. And even though this is my first one, I'm definitely going to try another one on my coaster. So, yeah. Now, because I still have a little bit of time, let's paint a chair because I've been wanting to. So, I'm going to do purple. Oh, it's not coming out. There we go. And I'm going to paint away. So, I'm basically going to paint right here and right there first. And then I'll show you guys when it's all done, and then I think we'll move on to the legs. So, guys, I've painted up the seat purple. This is purple. It looks blue, but I did paint it up purple. Well, let's just. Oh, there's a hand of paint. Let's take a blue for reference. Okay, so it is purple. I did paint it purple, but I'm going to paint the legs 
blue because I think personally blue and purple look great together. So what I'm going to be painting blue is these and the back two right there. So I'm going to quickly finish that up. So I finished painting the legs blue and I really want a circle right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I think my pointer finger and paint it blue, metallic blue. I think, yeah, metallic blue. So I'm going to quickly paint up my finger here. Hope this turns out. Hoping fingers crossed. Okay, so now I'm gonna lean the chair like this, center it, and do a dot. Whoa, that did not work out. I'm gonna try it again. I finished up the chair. I just colored it in and added some dots. So there's my first chair done. I hope you guys enjoyed this YouTube video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.